What up, YouTube? Today's gonna be a fun day, another fun one, another outdoor one. So we're not just gonna be in the van all day like we normally are. <laughs> anyway, we're going to a kid's birthday party. Kids are super excited. They got a little splash pad. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So the kids are stoked, we're stoked, and it's gonna be really good to see some friends that I haven't seen in quite a while since we lived here. And so we're gonna have a good time, man. So stay tuned, come have fun with us, watch these little babies scream their heads off, and uh, yeah, bring your earplugs. You trying to drive? You trying to drive? Yeah. You want to drive? <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Here. Here, go to your seat. Go to your seat, Papa, because we got to go. We, we got to go. We got to go, son. Here, you can drive Daddy when you get older, okay? You can drive Daddy around. Little chauffeur duty. Little chauffeur duty. Yeah. Yeah? All right, come on. Come sit down, puppy. Come on. Handsome boy. Are right, you ready, baby? Yeah. Amaziah, I need you to get in your seat, son. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right, get in your seat. Oh, you okay, son? Let's go, dude. Let's go, man. You ready, Gabe? Gabriel. Gabriel, you ready, buddy? Yeah. This guy does not look at the camera. He's like, I know you want me to look at the camera, but I'm not going to do it. Baby, you want me to do it? I can show you how to use the key. You want me to do it? You want me to help you? Oh, yeah, <laughs> man, hello, legs. Us is what I miss oh about a fall going days at the park. Where are those things been hiding? Oh, my God. Please stop. I think you do something with her, my little baby's hair. She's looking at you like, what's wrong with you? Uh, Bruh, come on, man. Dude, I'm telling you three times, man. If someone got to tell you, it's going to be a wreck. It's going to be a wreck. If someone got to tell you, it's going to be a wreck. And you, that's what you Next time, it's going to be a wreck. Next time, it's going to be a wreck. That's two strikes. Let me tell you, one more time, you're out of here. Hi, friends. We are here at uh, this random park, which seems pretty cool. Um, looking forward to having some fun with friends and kiddos and hopefully there's like a splash pad because the kids have their bathing suits and we made promises you know what i mean um i don't know if it's gonna work or not but <laughs> we out here you know what i mean okay <laughs> oh my gosh it's so funny to vlog sometimes when the kids are like so excited to go somewhere now that they're getting a little bit older and they uh can be a little you know, pushy with it. So then we have to tell them to chill out and like, you don't run the show. You are not in charge, right, Bella? Say, I'm not, what do you mean I'm not in charge? Oh, right, I'm supposed to do. Okay, I just forgot that I told my husband I would do something to her hair. So I'm gonna do that and be right back. <laughs> okay, y'all, <laughs> what do you think? I said I was gonna do something to her hair and I did it, but look at this. I know, I didn't do that good of a job, honestly, but I didn't have a brush and I didn't have a comb. And you know, sometimes you just gotta gotta do what you gotta do and uh, do something, you know? So it's cute from this side. It's just, then you see that side and it's like, girl, what did you do to your daughter's hair right now? I wanna tell you guys that my birthday's coming up and I'm really excited about it. Um, I've found that like this has been, these have been some really crazy years, but I found that even with all of that, I'm like in a, I'm in a really happy place. Like I'm in a very settled, like I am happy with where my life is at this moment in my life place. And when you're as ambitious as I am, sometimes that's like, a pretty hard place to get to um, and I think a lot of people with my personality like never get there so I'm really grateful to God um, but I also wanted to hear from you guys like where are you how, not location wise unless you want to tell me that but like where are you like how are you feeling about life these days after the hard years of 20 2020 and 2021 and we're still in those hard years in so many ways but like you know, how are you feeling about where you are at this moment? And if I can pray for you or, you know, lift you up somehow, I want to do it. Okay, I'm going to get to this party. <laughs> Play, baby. Play, baby.
Is that Bubby? Dirt sticks. He's got dirt sticks. Hi, baby. I'm gonna put you, do you mind being on video? Sure. Okay. I'll sign the waiver. <laughs> <laughs> I present you with my prince. We're gonna have to do like a little wrist Are you okay like, with an arranged like marriage, Daya? There's like attempts already on her arranged marriage. Right. <laughs> I'm a longer family friend. I know, right? <laughs> you say arranged uh, marriage and she runs away. Yeah. Alright, go get it. Go get the helicopter. Go get it. Are you gonna go get it too? Okay boys, I was just kidding. Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> okay guys, just kidding. Look, maybe it will come back. Maybe it'll come back around. Whoa! Look at that. I want to see it. I want to see it. You can see it. It's right there in the sky. It's gone. Yeah, it's going bye bye. Now we can go to the cake instead of the helicopter. Hey, let's get up. Let's get up. Hi, Hi, Sayla. Look at Sayla walk. She's the cutest little walker ever. <laughs> well, she, it changed with her, her shoes. Oh, hi. You're looking just adorable. Okay, so I want to introduce you to Victoria and Austin's newest baby. And when I tell you that she looks exactly like her father, look at this. That's look, right. Somebody come and look at this. That is literally like it's my Twinkie. A beautiful version of my brother-in-law. <laughs> not that you're not beautiful, Austin. You're 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 incredibly beautiful too, you know. <laughs> So we were having this conversation. It's like a continuation of our conversation that we had earlier this morning. And we want to bring you in and see what you guys think about it. Can money buy happiness? I know everyone says no, it can't. But I wanted to bring up the point that we're always full of the joy of the Lord. Like in the craziest circumstances, Gabe and I still can find joy and be like, Lord, this is the toughest thing maybe we've ever gone through, mm -hmm. but that we still have the joy of our salvation. Yeah. We still know you. We still are married and like love each other. We still, you know, and just start counting our blessings, which mm -hmm. brings joy. But happiness, you know, in the middle of lots of different circumstances, we're not necessarily happy, but there's something about our current like situation that makes me happy, like mm -hmm. really happy. And I was like, okay, it's not that we're rich or anything, but we do have, we've gotten to the point finally with all these daggum kids <laughs> where we have steady jobs <clears throat> and steady money coming in and we can buy a house. And like, there is such a happiness that comes with seeing your children playing like in their playroom and mm. knowing that this is their house. Yeah, And so did did money buy happiness no but money did buy a house that brings us a ton of happiness what do you think you know man happiness is overrated like it really is it's just it, i think in just 
today's culture it's all about man you just gotta do you meaning it's just another way of saying hey you gotta do whatever makes you happy well as long as you're happy well i love you as long as you're happy and me i'm just like i think there are so many things that happen in life and if you're looking for moments to be happy in marriage i think that's off if you're just looking for moments and comfort in the midst of the journey I, you know i think you're in for i think it's incredibly misleading to just look for the whatever makes you happy and that's it. I think you just have to just, in, it's a journey and that comes with joy and tears, laughter and pain, and it comes with it. I'm not in this for my comfort. I'm not married to Danielle for my comfort. You know what I'm saying? I'm married to Danielle for uh, what God has put me on this earth for. Hey, I'm born to marry this woman. <laughs> hey, bye. Okay, so what do you guys think? After all of this, these things that we've said, um, can money buy happiness? That was the initial question. And Pastor Torres took us um, <laughs> on a ride. Don't be deceiving the people. He loves now. me. I love him too. Goodness gracious. I love uh, but I do think that money can buy happiness up to a certain level. They, did you, did no. you know that? I don't think you mean statistically, that. Statistically. I don't think statistically, you mean that. M money does make people happier up to making $75,000 a year. And then there's a cap on happiness on in like basically from 75,000 up, there's no difference in levels of happiness. But I think money can buy you happiness the way good looks can buy your relationships, but it won't last. I agree with that. But happiness is momentary and happiness um, someone else said that... So I guess the real question is this. Are y'all going after the momentary? Or are you going after the lifelong? And here comes Pastor Torres. giving <laughs> you deep. He's giving you all the deep thoughts tonight. No, so no, just for the record. Just for the record. Take the deep I thoughts am happy. in. Take Wait. the deep thoughts in. And think about out. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Ali. Are you happy? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was an accident. So just for the record, y'all, I am extremely happy. I think there's value in being happy. Is that my sole pursuit is just Nobody happiness? said that's a sole pursuit. No, I'm not. The question that, is, that joint can is money, so, the question is, is so can money hollow. buy some happiness? Yeah, but y'all, I'm not going after some happiness. I'm going after lifelong joy and uh, adventure. And then I know there is such an abundance of happiness that's there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm mm -hmm. not. I'm not into the momentary. I, I, I'm. I'm cool. I'm cool on the momentary. I'm cool on that. If I only had you momentarily, I, I'm done. Just Lord Rapture, come take me now. Just take me and my kids <laughs> oh my right now. No, I'm not. I'm not doing momentary with you. Yeah, that, that's not happening. Gabe's in his deep thought mode, so we gotta. I gotta wrap this on up. I, mean, I gotta wrap this yeah, on yeah, up. Or you're, I, you're I definitely about to get chop. us. So please like this so video. So all this is saying. Share this don't video. Don't be going after momentary. Hey, look Subscribe at me. Subscribe to this channel. Come here, come here, come here. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Don't you be going after the momentary, all right? It ain't worth it. It's going to burn up, and then you're going to be like, oh, I thought this was a good idea. Don't be going after the momentary, man, all right? Listen to Pastor Torres. Don't, don't you disappoint me. You want to disappoint me? You want to make me sad? Huh? Oh my gosh. Don't you make me sad now. Listen to the pastor, <laughs> and we're going to see y'all next time. <laughs> Love you, man.